What's up everybody, Decisive TV here. We're back for another video. And today we're on something a little bit different. Uh, this is Cornerstone, the SMP that I'm part of. Uh, if you guys don't know, there's a lot of new people who have never seen my face or my channel or anything like that before. Cornerstone is basically this SMP that I play on. Uh, SMP standing for Survival Multiplayer Server. And uh, yeah, as you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff around here, but I kind of wanted to do a quick-ish tour of uh, Cornerstone because uh, I know a lot of people here don't know what Cornerstone is and they've never been to the main channel, which is where that series is. Um, but yeah, so we're over in the shopping district for Cornerstone and uh, here is the newest project on the server. Uh, everybody's coming up, putting up uh, somebody else's face onto the uh, the spots up there. We don't have only 10 members. We have about um, 19 active ones. So hopefully we'll get quite a bit more faces on the mountain. Um, as you can tell, we only have this part carved out right now. And I need to go through and replace all that stone with some dirt and grass. But uh, yeah, and put some snow behind some of these heads to kind of uh, even it out a little bit. My my face looks a little bit flat, but you can tell right there, two different blocks. But uh, we just need to put some behind it to kind of give it more of a, a depth, depth of field, right? So, um, yeah, but people are coming, putting their own heads or, uh, or another member's head onto uh, Mount Cornerstone, I think is what we're calling it. Um, a bunch of different materials and stuff like that. I should probably take this back yeah we'll do that somebody else can buy buy a uh oh yep some tnt that we had to use uh can buy some t our ender chests from um hap a haphazardous waste he's selling those that's right uh okay so next things uh next thing up we should probably check out the uh the redstone shop so the redstone shop was built by uh, time off drew amazing youtuber i would definitely go su suggest uh, going over to his content watching it subscribe because he's just amazing at making videos crazy freaking dude um and i don't feel like he gets all the recognition he should and he's a good youtuber great youtuber even dude definitely needs a bigger or deserves a bigger audience it's just youtube is not giving it to him and i i hate it i hate it so freaking much well employees only don't mind if i do okay we're we're out there wasn't much in there um yeah so they need to restock the shop there's quite a few diamonds in here but very nice build uh, that they recently renovated our, our time off drew if you would what renovated um here's my honey shop so i actually have a, a bee farm and have i made any sales i don't think i have not a lot of people come buy honey on the server anymore it's not really a, a necessity on the server per se it kind of stinks <laughs> um uh, same with my other shop i think i am the the guy on the server with the most failed shops. So I have a copper shop here and nobody's come to buy copper. Uh, not even since I restocked it. Um, this is one of Hicks shops uh, or Hunter um, per se, but we call him Hicks, of course. Uh, rocket shop over there. This thing, which is really cool that was built. I completely forgot what it's, what it is. Wait, what? It, what is the shop? I don't think I've ever been inside actually. So Ender has a sorting service? Oh my god, this would have been so useful. It would have saved me multiple hours of organizing my items at my base. Well, shoot. Wish I knew that. <laughs> um let's see, what else? What else is there? A nice little pond, little little area around here around the nether portal. Nice little quaint area. The rock shop, which you can get a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, there's a lot on the server, so I should probably go pretty quick. Um, if we go... Okay, random wool there. Wait, is that random? Yeah, that's just random. Okay. 
Uh, over here we have my treasure island thing, which people say is a rig, but obviously Brad really liked it. Uh, 11 out of 10 doesn't edit reviews because it's a crime. Uh, very good very good review uh but yeah so it's three diamonds a shovel and i actually ran out of glow ink sack i guess so yeah but um people pay for these shovels that each have five durability they go to the island that's on the map which is you have to go through another tunnel to get to um but people will have a chance of finding really really good treasure uh i wish i could go there uh, well Mm, no, I, I don't think I have any pictures of what the loot is. Um, well, maybe somewhere, but I'm not going to include it in the video. Uh, over here is Pally's Terracotta Shop. And actually, let's go back out real quick. Look at this shop. Beautiful, beautiful freaking shop. Beautiful work. What a piece of art. Ugh. Okay, so in here, he has all the terracotta glazed and regular... Um, but he has all the colors, which is very, very cool. Um, one diamond per stack of the regular, and then two diamonds per stack of the, the glaze, because it takes a bit longer to make. Um, let's see, Shulker Box Shop, which is pretty cool. Nice little truck. And here, it's a Dragon School, I think. So there's end crystals here. I, wow, gas tears and blaze rods? I think those are new. I don't know who owns this shop, but it's a very nice build. Uh, music disc, disc shop, which I think this is Nella's, Nella's shop. She's very good at building and doing these armor statues. Oh my gosh. Very cool. Uh, sick of ordinary horns. How about a bestow horn, a one of a kind made especially for you? Chuckles will compose a horn for you. Uh, for the low price of one diamond block, leave your name on the next page and Chuckles will contact you for fitting. Enter details below. Huh. Okay. So there's a bunch of goat horns, a bunch of music discs and everything. That's awesome. So this is Chuckles Shop, but I assume Nellis built it. Not to dog on Chuckles, but uh, I don't know how good he is with um, with making armor stands like this. And yeah, this is a very nice build. Very cool. Uh, over here is the sand shop. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's. Oh, Hicks's minigame. It's pretty cool. Pretty fun. But here's a huge thing. So this is the Cornerstone Arena, also known as the Corner Dome. So it's not finished, obviously. Uh, there still needs to be a little bit more work done, but the bulk of it is basically done. Um, yeah, Drew and Jack or Aisle, right? Aisle, yay, or something like that. I don't remember how to say his new brand name um, or YouTube name. So, yeah, this is just an ice hockey arena. Pretty freaking sick, right? We have a whole ice hockey arena on Cornerstone. What other SP do you know has a freaking ice hockey arena in, in on the server? I don't know any. But yeah, so a big, huge freaking dome up here, uh, arena, and then obviously you have like the actual build on the outside, uh, which they, they still need to finish. <laughs> uh, but the big cornerstone season two logo, oh my God, it, it fits so perfectly right there. It looks so good. Wow. Okay, so uh, we can actually fly. Oh wait, no, I should take the nether. Because then I can tour it a little bit in the nether as well. Let's go over to the nether portal. Which is right over here. Ugh. We didn't check out every single shop because there's just so many. So many shops. But we checked out majority of them. Okay, so uh, I made a huge freaking nether portal. Um, I actually designed and made this hallway leading over to it. I stopped it right here because I didn't know really what we wanted to do for the nether portal area if we wanted to make like a big huge kind of hub sort of thing or what so um yeah i just stopped it right there but yeah it's just packed ice walls with a bit of snow going throughout uh i realized that other 
hallways also had repeating patterns so i kind of wanted my own repeating pattern in this hallway but we have the chandeliers up here for a little bit of lighting and they also look pretty cool except they're not centered um ignore it now that i've said it you aren't going to be able to unsee it huh but yeah so it just leads from the shopping district here's my portal a nice little icy hub that's where i got the idea for this um, and also the skulk selling, pretty freaking cool if you ask me. But yeah, so it leads from the shopping district all the way to the nether hub. And this was built by Stewie. It's very, very nice. I, I really, really like it. Very cool. Um, but yeah, so this is Brandy and Brad's Hall. Uh, Brandy, uh, it, it mostly streams on Twitch. Um, you know? That sort of stuff. Uh, maybe I'll include a link to everybody's channel down in the description. So then you guys can go check them out uh, and see what they're all about. Pretty fun people. So, yeah, this just not. Uh oh. Um, so, yeah, this leads to Brattle's uh, base. And then Onion and Drew are that way. Zombie Land is also this way. So, Zombie Land was a, a very fun mini game. And you guys just have to go watch the series to catch up on all of this. But. Uh, zombie lane was a very very fun that way is uh to nellis and hicks's base um which you guys can go check out on their channel i believe uh pally juice which is very nice a very nice place chuckles base some stuff going on back here actually can i get to there's an area in the nether for some reason i don't know who's making it but they're making kind of like the overworld, but in the nether, like, see, I don't, I don't really know what this is, but it looks really freaking good for this part, right? Like that looks hella good. So I wonder who's working on this and why they, they stopped. Very weird. Um, crossbows, portal, crossbow doesn't really play on here too much anymore, which is very upsetting, but, um. He's having to deal with some stuff, which kind of stings. Want to see him on here again. But let's go ahead and go into my portal. And we can explore the base around there. I want you guys to go to other people's videos. Uh, oh, my God. On Cornerstone and see what they've been up to this entire time. So we've almost had this. It's actually coming up on two years very, very soon. So this is gonna this video is gonna come out on the fifth of December. And I think we started about in ten days, I think it will be the two year anniversary of this world, which is insane. That is crazy that almost two years has passed. Um yeah, so this is my base. It's quite quaint. Um not a lot going on. Uh we just have the portal up there. Have our little hobbit hole over here. Nice little starter base that we had at the beginning of the series. Uh, and then we made the actual starter house. Which is that. Which I just went in. Um, so this I think was built in an episode. Uh, so yeah, it's fairly nice. It's pretty, pretty quaint. Not... A whole lot going on. A little enchanting table down meow. Little star storage place up meow. And I've organized the hell out of these chests. There's nothing should be unorganized. <laughs> Except for what's in my inventory, obviously. Wait, but blocks of bamboo. Um yeah, so we have all these. And it's just oh so beautiful. Beautifully organized. I'm proud of it. Um, okay, let's, oops, let's go, another, yes, uh, let's go down yaw, so here's my bee farm, for some reason bees are very, very much broken in this version of the game, and they don't want to fix them for some reason, very weird, oh my goodness, that's a lot of honey, wow, hopefully the dispensers are not running out of bottles and shears, that would kind of stink. Uh, this is a little um, chicken coop. So, uh, or chicken cooker house thing. So you put the, the eggs in here. And it'll shoot and give birth to chickens. And then it cooks it. 
So yeah, and that brings me to the first farm that we ever made on the server was a chicken farm. A lot of eggs and lots of noise. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I made that in the second episode, which is pretty quick. Uh, I've expanded the wheat farm quite a bit as well um all throughout i, I want to go even further with it like out to there and like out to there all around here i think it would be pretty cool i need a i need to work on oh my god on the build for the moss farm um i think i have a design which is why i moved this around uh the timer used to be all the way up there above the farm but i realized that was eh. so I have a, a new location for it and a build to hopefully come pretty soon for that as well. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know if this video is going to be a banger or not, to be honest. Probably not going to be a lot of editing because I'm talking a lot. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff to show. So uh, here, and you guys have probably already seen this, and you're like, what the heck is that? And you're going to be skipping to the part of the video where I'm actually up here. <laughs> At least I know I would. But maybe you guys didn't notice it and you're, you've are you been watching this entire time or something. Oh, man. Can't walk in the powdered snow. That would suck. Um, yeah, so this is actually my mega base project uh, that I'm doing for season two. I need, a, I need to still work on it, which is why I had so much TNT, like a full choco box of TNT. <laughs> so I, I need it uh to mine out below uh there was no cave below this or anything like that um i need to blast it all out in order to make a big space but yeah um i'm kind of going for like a uh an iron forge from world of warcraft sort of look so that's why we have the big gate with the lava and stuff and then we have a little top opening up here uh that you can fly through milkman oh wait i don't even i don't even know don't don't ask because I don't know, um, but yeah. So it leads around here, and I had uh, an idea for up here. I wanted to put like a bookshelf or um, a library up there or something like that. But yeah, so you just fly through there. You can fly around, or you can go through the middle part here, and eventually it will lead you down to the uh, the main area, which is this. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite a bit bigger. So I, I, so far, I've exploded all of this area, and I've mined out like all of this area. It was gonna be a lot bigger, but to be honest, I think this might work. So, yeah, eventually it's gonna be a lot like Iron Forge from World of Warcraft. We're gonna have the big like lava pool in the center with all the shops and everything on the outside, and it's gonna be like multi-layered and shit. It's gonna be cool. So, kids, don't repeat after me. Listen to what I say, but don't repeat what I say. You know what I'm saying? So this is like a little kind of trap <laughs> sort of thing, I guess. I don't know. There's like no way that mobs can, if mobs spawn, they can't get out. So, you know, it's kind of like a little be danger, be warned. You fall in, you have to climb ladder of death or something. So, yeah, um... I have this road leading over to this kind of gateway sort of thing, just cobblestone gateway. There's nothing really over here yet, but I do plan on expanding and making a village over here at some point because it's just like a perfect area. So you have like the main castle, whatever the fuck, and then you have the village just down here, which is very, very cool. So, um, yeah, uh, big D for decisive, not Drew, time off Drew, exclusive. Um, and then I also have a railroad leading to Pally Juice Village, which actually we should go check out because it's a freaking cool build. There's nothing really... Oh, wait. There's something that we need to go check out later. Don't worry about it right now. We need to get to Pally Juice Village. Okay, so over at Pally Juice Village, it's a, a little humble town that Drew's making. Um, it includes a lot of potions and also a maple syrup potion that Drew didn't understand was a, uh, a stereotype for Can Canadians. Pretty funny. Um, but yeah, so he sells all sorts of potions and you can see harming, healing, uh, fire resistance, swiftness, invisibility, and night vision is what he has available. 
Uh, he does ex plan to expand up here, and he's done a little bit of work clearing space out, but we'll see where he goes with it. I think Pally Juice so far is pretty cool, so I want to see what all he can do with it here. Chuckles' big old base up there. Um, pretty freaking big, but it's not done yet. Oh, shit. I don't have any more rockets. Oh, shoot. That's, uh, there. Uh, okay. Rocket box. I have everything. Oh, my God. I have everything so organized in my ender chest. It's unbelievable. So, like, we have the stones, the rockets, all of this stuff. It's so organized. Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, yeah. So, we have... Just a bridge, a, a pretty simple bridge, if I say so myself, uh, holding this thing up. So, yeah, it's just a nice little railroad that kind of connects Pally Juice to my base. Um, oh, yeah, so the thing that I wanted to show you guys, uh, we also have, like, a, an area lined out. I keep sheep here, because why not? Might as well have wool sometimes, is uh, this. So this is actually Aceles, or Jack of all trades or jack is what we call him uh this is actually his mountain and this is a quest gate that i built for a future project which hopefully i actually get done um relatively soon i have a book here with a bunch of different things i i gotta do and that's one of them so yeah um jack has this mountain and uh, i've worked on it a little bit but i still need to do this top part at least uh but Jack has this freaking huge mountain, and it's a it's a ski lodge. So he, oh, oh man, wait, when did he build this? What? I don't even know. Interesting. Okay, so he has like the the li chair lifts. Uh, does it lead all the way down already? Whoa, that's sick. Okay, yeah. So this is uh Jack's place, his base. Um. Whoa. That's crazy. I don't even know when that got done. Um, so he built this entire mountain by hand, by the way. Like, this entire thing is done by hand, block by block. He built this entire freaking thing, which is just absurd. So he had the mountain on this side, which you can kind of see how it leads up. Uh, but he just... You can oh, well, kind of tell from the back, but you can see he just laid it all out. And if we go underneath here, it's absolutely insane to look at. <laughs> so, yeah, he placed all of these blocks. And then he had a, as you could tell, he placed dirt. Wait, and we can go up here. So he placed dirt and then he placed a snow block on top. So he had to basically place a mountain twice, which just... Oh my gosh, he is insane. He, what a freaking mad lad. Yeah, you can see where the other mountain kind of connects. Um, so, yeah, it's just wow. And then he built this part right here with a little waterfall. Pretty cool. Uh, and then he built, he started to build this, which I don't remember what it is. I don't remember exactly what this is. Just a little base, a little storage base or something like that. Pretty freaking cool. I like it. Humble. Uh, let's uh, try not get smushed. Oh man, he he made this all snow too. What? When did he make this all snow? I don't know. But he also like kind of finished those. Uh. Yeah. So uh, that's basically all around my base. If we go a little bit this way, you could see more wheat fields, and then Pally's base, which you guys just gotta go watch his episodes. It's, Freaking insane what he's doing. Look at these. Look at these freaking builds. Such interesting textures. Such interesting roofs and stuff. And like the mountain that he's building here. The docks. Everything just mwah. Chef's kiss. A little bit hollow. But he also has this mountain over here which he's building. Um, but he's a busy man. He's a busy man. Pally's a busy man. He got stuff to do outside of Minecraft. So... Uh, looks freaking amazing so far. Absolutely love this base. 
But yeah, so Jack and I were kind of teaming up since I built this quest gate. Uh, we need to build around it, and that way it also doesn't look too ugly for my base. But yeah, I just need to go through here again and um, play like 15 minutes a day and just like put dirt in. Because I did this in about four or five days, and I just had like My Hero Academia on in the background. It, it was pretty sick. Uh, but yeah, so that's all that's really around my base. Um, I don't know if there's. There's anywhere specific I need to go to? I don't think so. I don't really know just yet. I know they're making a mini or a uh, a golf course on the server, which is going to be freaking insane. It's going to use like tridents and enderpearls and stuff. Oh my god! But yeah, I don't I don't know if there's really anything else I got to show you guys right now. Um. Obviously, we could keep going and we could go to everybody's base, but then this would be like an hour and a half long video. And yeah, I'm not. I, I, I right now I'm kind of not in the space to talk for an hour and a half straight. <laughs> and um, my throat's already starting to get a little bit sore, and my mouth's starting to get a little bit dry. So yeah, uh, I should probably end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to hit that like button down below. I know it's not on the Let's Play world. We'll have the Let's Play. Uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day. I, I don't know. I kind of want to stick to the every other day schedule, but yeah, I know you guys like the Let's Play world. So, yeah, I like it too. Don't worry. But yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys Cornerstone, see what you're missing out on on the main channel if you wanted to go watch those videos. I have 18 episodes, I think. And go check out all the other Cornerstone members. I, um, I'll try and... Hi, B. Try and make sure I get a list and put it in the description down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new here again, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.